today we will see how to construct a triangle when the base base angle and the sum of other two sides is given let's consider an example see we need to construct triangle abc in which base bc is given as 5 angle b is 60 degrees and the sum of remaining two side ab and ac is 10 cm so we need to construct this triangle to construct this triangle let us first understand the logic and then we will continue so here we have triangle we need to draw the rough diagram first let us see with the rough diagram we'll understand and then we'll start so here i have a triangle let's draw the rough diagram this is my required triangle say a b c such that bc is 5 cm angle b is 60 degrees and the sum of two sides ab and ac is 10 cm so first of all children we will understand the logic so i can see bc is given as 5 so we construct bc as 5 we will construct an angle of 60 degree at point b this is my angle which is 60 degree say and now we'll name this arm as x so children my angle x bc is 60 degree i don't know how long it should be so we are just taking of it of any random length and greater than obviously the sum given any length greater than 10 cm and we'll name this arm as angle uh, x so we have bxy angle bxy which is 60 degrees now we have constructed bc as 5 we have constructed angle b as 60 degree what do we need now i know i want the sum of remaining two side that is ab and S, ac as 10 so with center b and radius of 10 cm you will draw an arc on the arm bx see this point we will name as a p so children i have bp which is equal to 10 cm what should be the radius the radius should be equal to the sum of the two sides given so here i have the sum of two side as 10 so i have drawn bp i have taken bp as 10 cm now let's join this two points we will join p to c and we will obtain one triangle we have obtained pc now let us construct the perpendicular bisector since i need to construct the perpendicular bisector of line pc i'll take radius more than half of pc any radius more than half of pc will be drawing an arc on the either side of pc with center p as well as center c respectively and join this line so we'll say this point uh, this line xy is the perpendicular bisector of pc now children pxy is the perpendicular bisector of pc and we know all the points on the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from the two end points so i can say any point on xy will be equidistant from p and as well as c so the point where the xy line intersect the bx line the xy line intersects the bx line that point of intersection will be our point a now children just now we mentioned that any point on the bisector will be equidistant from the two end points p and c so i can say a p will be e to the line ac correct so in in other words i can say triangle apc is an isosceles triangle with ap is equal to ac correct and now we'll just see the justification because this triangle which we obtained triangle abc is my required triangle now this is the triangle which is required how we obtain let's just see the justification i know that the sum of two sides ab plus bc was given as 10 so according to our construction we constructed bp which is equal to 
what is bp here now bp is nothing but ba plus ab so i can say this is ba plus ab which is equal to 10 but ab or uh, ba plus ap sorry it is ba plus ap and how long is ap ap is equal to ac so i can say ba plus ac is 10 and this is what we require so we are ultimately making an isosceles triangle such that ap becomes equal to ac now children let us do the construction i hope you all understood the logic let us now start with the construction to start with the construction for this question let us first take the given base so i am constructing the given base the base given here is 5 cm so using your ruler draw a line of 5 cm okay so we will draw a line of 5 cm some of the line will be bc so here i am constructing a line i'm or i'm drawing a line bc which is 5 cm now this is my point b this is my point c the next thing i want is angle b to be 60 degrees since angle b needs to be 60 degrees with the help help of our compass we will take any suitable radius at center b any suitable radius and i will draw an arc so let us draw an arc with any suitable radius and with the same radius without disturbing the radius and this is center we again cut an arc now this gives me this arc gives me the an angle of 60 degrees so let us join these two points i am trying to join point b with this point and the point of intersection will give me a, an angle of 60 degrees correct so let me name this point as say angle x uh, xbc which gives me 60 degrees let me just move it a bit there we go we have this angle as 60 degrees so i have constructed angle b children which is 60 degrees okay now let us name this point as this arm as arm x now next what we need we need the sum of remaining two sides as 10 i want the sum of ab and ac as 10 so with the help of your compass and a ruler you will draw an angle of arc of 10 cm now children if your compass is not opening it you if you are not able to open the compass to the required sum say 13 cm 10 cm then you can use the sum in the combination say you can draw for drawing 13 cm you can first draw 6 and then 7 so that will give you 7 or 10 cm or 13 cm now here yeah, since i want it but i am unable to open my uh, compass to cm so i said early so 7 plus 3 i will get 10 so here i am moving my compass a bit for now i am taking my compass at point b and here i am making an an arc to get 7 cm the length is 7 cm so we are making so this distance is 7 this point is 7 now i don't want 7 we want the and uh, the sum or the distance to be equal to 10 cm so again after 7 i need to add 3 cm so here will add 3 cm more i'm taking the radius you can use in any combination you can use 4 and 6 you can use 5 and 5 any combination and if you are getting the if you are able to open your uh, compass till 10 cm then well and good okay so here i am using this my compass i have added another 3 cm so now children this arc gives me the point which is equal to 10 cm hence i can say this point say this point is p so i can say now that bp is equal to 
10 centimeters. Now let's join the two points. I'll join point P with point P and point C. Okay, now I've got somewhat closer. Yes. Can you all see here? I will may join the two points. So with the, you can join these two points using a dotted line. Anything can do. We prefer dotted line so that it works not the part of main construction. It is just the intermediate step. So we are drawing it using a dotted line. And now we will draw the perpendicular bisector of this uh, um, um, P, the radius should be more PC. Lock the radius. So I am constructing an arc on either side of the Line P C. So here I have cut the arc at point. Say this point we will name as X, and this point will be. I have drawn two arcs such that these I we get arc X, and this is arc Y. I will get the XY line XY will be the perpendicular bisector of the given line PC. Okay, so we draw join the point X to Y points. I get the perpendicular bisector of the line XY. Okay, so we just get it done. Yeah, and yes. So this line is the perpendicular bisector line XY is the perpendicular bisector of PC. Okay, it intersects PC at point M. Since XY is the perpendicular bisector, so all the point on the perpendicular bisector XY will be equidistant from the two points that is point P and C. So this point, children, the point which we obtained to with the intersection of the two points is our point of point A. So here we will join, we will name this point as A. This is my point A. This point we will name as point A and I will join to point A to C. So let's join point a to point C and hence triangle ABC is a required triangle. Okay, so we join point A to point C and here we obtain a required triangle ABC such that the sum of the side AB and AC is 10. So let's just join them and yes, we have obtained the required triangle ABC. Here you can see children that the length of AP is equal to the length of AC. This AP is equal to AC. So if we know that BP is equal to 10, what is BP? BP is AB plus AP which is equal to 10. And just now we saw that AP is equal to AC. It's an isosceles triangle. ABC is an isosceles triangle. Hence, I can say AB plus we will replace AP with the length AC. So I have got AB plus AC equal to 
10 centimeter and triangle abc is the required triangle thank you everyone